Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the results of the latest death battle. And in this death battle it was between Frieza from Dragon Ball versus uh, Megatron from the Transformers. Um, for those of you who did not see my prediction video, um, I predicted that Frieza was going to win this death battle, mostly due to the fact that I just thought with Frieza um, being able to go to his black form, and I thought it was more powerful than anything Megatron could come up with. So, <clears throat> in this death battle, some of the things that I learned. Um, Frieza's black form is extremely powerful, um, which is something I already knew, but I wasn't, I don't think I was quite aware of how powerful it was, in the sense of, like, it, even though he was able to take out Ego and Ultra Instinct, um, without a problem, in fact, with just two hits, and we don't get to see much of him other than that. Um, I just wasn't quite sure how powerful he actually was. But anyway, that being said, Megatron was the one I was also surprised about in the sense of his physical strength. Um, I thought he was stronger, and in a way he kind of was, um, but also not at the same time. What I mean by that is I thought physically he would be able to do a lot more. But in actuality, his power was great, but it was only because of one ability. And that's kind of a problem right there. Um, it had to do with his ability to get antimatter out there. So the the battle starts, and the two of them go at it. Um, it goes into um, Frieza trying to take over Cybertron. And this is Frieza in his first form. Um, Megatron goes to blast him, and Frieza goes right into his final form. Um, and they start going at it. And they're pretty much evenly-ish matched, for the most part. Um, then Megatron unleashes, well, transforms into a tank, and then unleashes this powerful blast that Frieza then, um, knocks away, but also forces himself to go through being golden Frieza. And this is where Frieza really gets the upper hand and starts beating up Megatron, um, rather easily. But, what really kills me is the fact that we get to see him um, transform into um, Black Frieza, specifically when Megatron pretty much just kind of insults him. And that's when Frieza gets really pissed off, goes into his Black form, and starts going full power on top of him. And this is when Megatron starts using his antimatter from the Black Hole that he's connected to. The Black... Uh, the antimatter, I was going to say black hole antimatter, but it's just the antimatter, touches Frieza and starts to disintegrate him. Frieza gets away, half of his body gone, along with, um, well, so his lower half's gone, and then one of his arms is gone. He uses his death saucers, or death slicers, I forget what they're called, basically the key enzyme, and makes three of them massive size and cuts through everything cuts through cybertron and megatron without a problem cuts right through the planet and everything what happened there was frieza was still alive granted half there um but megatron was completely destroyed so in the end frieza was the winner of this death battle but i will say this i was not prepared with how much damage frieza took i thought the antimatter was going to be very similar to the hockey that is used by the um, god of destruction, right? He would be able to manipulate it and, and use it to not affect him. Unfortunately, I was incorrect. Um, it's used that anything that it touches, that is matter, disintegrates on contact. And the only reason why the freezer wasn't completely wiped out had to do with the fact that he was significantly faster. And Frieza's been able to survive with not all his body parts intact anyway. So there was nothing surprising about him being able to get away and then attack Megatron and slicing him in, well, into pieces. So in the end, Frieza barely won because of the antimatter. But power-wise, he was significantly stronger, significantly faster. Um, and I think the only, the only thing that Megatron had was obviously the antimatter, but also the millions and millions of years of experience. Those were the things that um, Megatron had on him. But overall, um, in the end, 
Frieza was the winner of this death battle. So yay, I got another one right. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. So um, the next death battle is going to be going to be sorry between. Go and I'm I apologize in advance if I'm saying anything incorrectly. Gojo from Jujitsu Kaizen versus Makama from Chainsaw Man. So I know nothing about either of these two. So next week I'm going to be doing a prediction video after doing some research and figuring out exactly who they are. Um, but for right now, let me know what you guys thought about this death battle in the comments below. I definitely agree with one of the comments that was on my vid last video. I do think this was an odd pairing. I think they were only put together because of, well, bo mostly because their blasts were very similar and this is being purple. And the fact that they were the main um, antagonists or the more popular antagonists from their series or universe. Um, overall, those are the only reasons why I thought they would go together to begin with. Um, that being said, um, Freeze obliterated them. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this death battle um, down below. And as always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out. Have a great night.